I am coming to uh, Dimapur for the first time, and uh, I am already aware of uh, many of your uh, requirements, sort of demands also, and uh, there is no doubt that we are committed to meet all of those. You all know that Dimapur has been connected with the rail network since very long, but as per the government of India, latest policy. Act East. We are now trying to connect all the uh, capital cities of all the northeast states. We have already gone up to Sukhumi, and soon we'll be by 26. I think we'll be able to connect to Kohima. Kohima. Sir, Prior to that, uh, next year by September we are able to go to that. Uh, another two block section will be able to complete. So I am here to uh, listen directly from you. Uh, Anything you have, you can ask me. Few things, maybe for my information, few things you expect me to take some action. Few things we will be initiating the proposals. You all know that there is a system I'll have to. I depend on railway board and many other things. Can you kindly brief us on the ongoing world class station that has been approved by the Prime Minister of India? Yeah, world class stations, you know, is a very prestigious and uh, dream uh, project of our Prime Minister. You all know that more than 1,000 stations uh, across the, all over Indian railway network are going to be uh, converted into world class. Every state has been given depending on the, uh, not only the football or the traffic, depending on the importance of the city in various states. Uh, I think total northeast 56 stations hai. Yes. Northeast area of Indian Railway has selected 56 stations to convert into world class station. Huge investment is going on, going to come but again uh, as if some of the stations I have seen before Dimapur and Dimapur also has uh, issues. The ones when you want to develop into a world class, you require the space also, and there are constraints like encroachments and all. So, unless uh, the the whole project is, I I will say, is accommodated into the environment and the space here, uh, then all, then only we can expand and then deliver. But there are issues, you know, sanctions are there, funds are there, many places we are working. Dimapur also we have a extensive plan if you know that you must have seen it total expenditure is 280 crores ka yahan par photo ka this is dimapur station 280 crores uh, sanctioned for this particular station so many with so many other facilities and all we have uh, all the drawings uh, finalized but maybe the execution part. It is now very easy. We have the fund, we have the sanction, we have the drawings approved. Now railway can immediately fix up a contractor agency to execute the work. But when exe at the execution stage, you all know that if you have seen the construction work, it is today's gain, tomorrow's gain. So that is the During the execution stage, there will be some difficulties. And we want that everyone has to cooperate with the railways and this, this message through media uh, should go all around so that the execution phase would be if the cooperation is better the execution would be faster otherwise uh, it may take very long time and the actual real uh, um, fruits of the project will not come in time that is the issue we have set procedures <laughs> Why is it? The Supreme Court has given the authority. Because certain things are, we know, we, have, we know, our railway boundaries, our records and all the so unless, basically encroachment, you understand that, encroachment has to, those who are occupying the railway land, where the, as per the drawing, the work has to be executed, needs to be vacated. Do you feel that encroachment is the biggest, it could be the biggest issue? No, one of the issues, I, I won't call it a biggest issue. Because it's not certainly the biggest issue because there are lots of uh, when, when we are developing a world class station it is not only 
circulating area. This this uh, encroachment mainly uh, hovers around the circulating area. But inside the session, whatever facilities like FOBs, lifts, and escalators, you know, those things would be you know, that will be done. So we'll be um, executing those work. What about uh, previous? But unless that uh, circulating area uh, is developed, that feeling and that image and that thing, the whole picture will not come. That half the picture, I mean, you will see. Parking facility yes. and all. Parking facility, the key is important again. Again, important. Uh, what about the previous uh, issuance of land paka by administrators? How is that being tackled to private individuals? So, uh, the uh, railway has been time to time has been modifying the um, procedures, but that is that patta of policy deals matter comes into picture only when it is connected with the railway business. If somebody is having his own private business. I cannot issue patta and all that that kind of thing. You any for I am. Our pass procedures are. We can give the land on lease railway for land. railway land. I can provide on lease, provided he is doing some business connected with railways. If it basically in turn, if it, there is a benefit to railway, but for a personal benefit or for some other benefit which is not connected with railway, I cannot give land on like lease account. But initially till. Uh, one year before even the policy policies were not supporting us to uh, do this kind of step ki somebody will be given the land on lease to uh, facilitate railway business ye pehle bhi nahi tha this is latest development last year only policy has been revised so we are now quite open even in such case many cases we are going by the bidding uh, process also where we feel ki hamari land hai something can be developed we are going uh, resorting to the bidding process or those who are coming to develop the land basically goods yard warehouses and you know, that in turn will bring some uh, traffic from railways us tarah ki cheeze hai so that is why railway has been progressing in this area but for benefit of individual sanat nobody would like to do that actually after the supreme court has given the direction to the railway authorities to evict then coaches What has NFR done in Dimapur to? Has there been any steps taken by the NFR to evict the illegal encroachers? Yes, definitely. There have been set up. Yeah, Diaram can. Can you cut into this or something? Yeah, yeah. I am Diaram Lamding, Prem Ranjan Kumar. You see, the for evicting the encroachers. first it is they are to be identified that they are encroachers we have our own clear cut land map according to which it is railways land but for evicting them we need state government's assistance we have approached state government many times to confirm from their own records that this is railway land and they are encroachers and thereafter provide assistance in the form of magistrate and police force to plan the evictions but till now state government uh, they are still in that Pantipana process hai, hai. recently we had raised this issue even with uh, <laughs> railway minister had come uh, minister of a state of railway and uh, this issue was raised even in uh, presence of chief minister and he, they have formed a committee high power committee in which uh, commissioner uh, local commissioner dc and one of the local railway officers senior dn he is a member they have to submit their report and clearly identify the encroachers so their report is still awaited yeah, this but what i saw i've read is last 27th april or somewhere there was a meeting of high level committee and some decisions were taken based on that railway was supposed to exactly map and give the land detail which belongs to railway and has been is under encroachment That it has we, already that been given recently. Have, that Last we week have, only it has been we provided have given to the state. All those details, encroachment details, we have given, but state government uh, they are still to certify, confirm, because on many such lands as uh, you were pointing out, that pattas have been given by previous administration. Yes, illegal. Illegal pattas. So those pattas will have to be cancelled. Mm -hmm. so that uh, action is. Those are actual encroachers. Yeah, they are encroachers. But again, you know, again, whatever details you have provided, basically, 
that the land which is comprising the whole world class project we are not if you think that total land may be more than that but we have given detail only which pertains to our world class station project not more than that so that is important otherwise we will be able to do some improvements but may not be that world class we are taking a targeted approach to actually remove encroachers based upon the project right the first the station development we are trying to tackle the station development issue first what's the and size required for the world class class project the area land area, area. Land area so required how much land what area what is the land area for the scheme yeah. for the fund for the exactly world class project so it's not fixed it depends on the the station the, the total population there the requirement different stations will may have uh, different requirements but as per dimapur kitna hai dimapur mein kitna hai 400 acres hoga dimapur mein pura ka circulating ये तो टोटल टोटल फोर्टीन थाउजेंड स्क्वायर मीटर्स का इसमें बिल्डिंग है सर्कुलेटिंग एरिया बट अंडर इनक्रोचमेंट इट इज मोर देन दैट अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड एकर्स वी डू नॉट वी आर नो इज दैट अवेलेबल राइट नाउ नो इट्स नॉट नॉट अवेलेबल आई गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल गुवाहाटी इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी मेड यू वर्ल्ड क्लास I have been informed by your CPR that the railway land in Nagaland is measuring only around 58 point something acres, and 30 something have been imposed. And how how is it you are saying now that around 300 acres? No, that is see that is the area. We this is what we talk about the station uh, yard area. When we go across the line across along the alignment, then the land area increases again. You understood right? But you know, I can there have been instances where the state government has. Uh, gone out of their way to uh, develop world class station mein aapko bhi recently do mahine pehle ki baat batata hu guwahati mein uh, we have only one entry in the guwahati main station other side entry ke liye state government has complete unka state transport corporation ka office hai assam state transport we had a, a memorandum of understanding already signed with assam government they are huge area they are vacating their transport corporation it is shifted वो कितना लैंड था यू 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 बीघा समथिंग बीघा लैंड दे आर दे आर रिमूविंग गोइंग समवेयर एल्स राइट नाउ आई ओनली से दैट द एफर्ट्स फ्रॉम द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट आर इन दॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन now it's because it has just begun from april only uh, one high level committee has been formed you know so now the efforts are in the positive direction it depends on after some time if we get the result then only we can uh, discuss in terms of satisfaction dissatisfaction but so far efforts are positive and on the right track so we are expecting yes we are expecting get some land so world class stations has escalators Uh, parking lots, but even the Amrit Bharat scheme is also under this yeah, Dimapur yeah. station. So, will that board be clubbed under the same funds and scheme, or yes, is it different schemes same. altogether? Yes, they are. They are one of the same. It's, it's only Dimapur, it is not Amrit Bharat. Major, major development is uh, basically world class station. Okay. And the minor modification is those are Amrit Bharat station. So, Amrit Bharat is just a subset of what world class is. Okay. Exactly. So Dimapur is getting the bigger chunk of the development agenda. so you can say amrit bharat station major modification is world class minor is amrit bharat station pure is there a deadline to complete this project deadline to complete the deadline to complete i told you 26 ab we will be connecting up to kohima no sir world class you are asking the, the encroachment issue the hp high board and could be the issue you know, we have to keep our fingers crossed now at this stage we can't we are only hopeful And the things are moving on right track. We have also. Let us. Like, we are not sure. This is just a. Uh, we have heard from some insiders. This station will be as it is, and then the and the farm we have heard that is planning up to like, uh, expand in some areas in the map. So is that true? Can you clarify whether those statements are true or not? No, no, no. Don't don't go by all such uh, 
message and I will call with your rumors. The, you can uh, always uh, get the blueprint of drawings and everything. Everything is fine. There is nothing to hide. It's all crystal clear. What is going to uh, be developed in this station? Drawings completely finalized and read. We can even, share with you all. Even okay. after the investment of 280 crores, we are not going to leave that asset. This will be the main. Yeah, we can even share with everything with you. How many tracks are you Platforms? Platforms or tracks? No, 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 Middle lane where we don't have uh, shelter. shelter. Just now you might have observed the uh, there has been announcement like companies is together to your wedding and plans. Any plans to put uh, bigger and also during rainy seasons? Okay, we we will definitely do something about it. So we have standards depending on the total ticket sale footfall. Uh, those standards are there, but yes. When, when we are going for a world class, because world class, developing a world class station has basically uh, not taken into account this. In criteria is based on something else. So, this is a world class station, we will certainly invest more there. No, I mean, in the current process, before ah, we, we will do that. We will we'll not wait for that. I told you, na, the development will come in two phases either the circulating area and the inside. Whatever inside the station, we can do it. It's all available. We can do it. So we'll see that if we don't get that land, we'll go with the only phase one. Yeah. We'll go into the, the phase two. But if we get complete thing, we'll go simultaneously. So phase one will be inside the river. No, that I'm not saying. That is a that's a later. If I, we don't succeed in getting the land, then what is the alternative? Develop uh, whatever fund is available. At least do something, uh, some development inside the station. That inside the station premises will be the first phase of work. And as and when we are getting start getting the enclosed land, we'll start development of the circulating area. Yes, yes. Uh, you have mentioned that encroachment is one of the issues. What are the other issues? Our traffic issues are other issues. Uh, we have to run the train operation and do we execute the work uh, say, uh, safely while uh, it and then so many things. I mean, when you execute. Uh, during the execution, there may be so many problems. Why has it taken so long for NFR to take a very bold step with the state government, considering that Dimapur is the highest revenue for the Northeast, Dimapur station? Right? It has not taken long. Uh, it has taken this Amrath Bharat long, station think, scheme has come uh, no, last year only. Scheme, this development of the railway station, certain issues, no, encroachment see, issues. Till last year, nobody had thought about that Amrath Bharat station world class. You know, we didn't have funds. Now we suddenly find that we have enough funds, we have policies, we want to develop this, that. So now we are coming up, what to, what to do? Without having that, uh, if I tell uh, I want to do this, who will believe me? Minimum now when I am talking about development, I am having, I am confident, I am having fun, I can do it. Minimum essential mm -hmm. amenities ke huh. So sir, the there is the statement that you have given just now. So you were saying that previously there was no funds as well to develop the stations. The development to hore the facade I think two years ago first facade banana. So you can see building facade banana. Two years ago banana. No, earlier policy, I'm, I told you, earlier policy, Amara, minimum facilities to the passenger, depending on the earning from the station, depending on the footfall at the station. Oh, standards, railway has got, you know, beautiful uh, codes and manuals. We go with that. But when you have to go beyond that, there will be some uh, political will has to be there, some government has to support, there has to be some desire from state government, central government together. That is how the, this scheme has come, Amrath Bharat station scheme. So now we are acting. Uh, may also, I know, like, ticketing will be there, but the ticketing will be there, but the ticketing will be there. We have more than 10,000 travelers to and from Dimapur railway station on a daily basis, including Sundays. However, from Dimapur to Tipu stations and abroad, we have less than 2,000 tickets. Around 1,600 tickets only has been allocated for Dimapur Pratas. So, do you have any plans to further like to enhance the ticket for, ticket for task? 
this this issue has always number of times highlighted to me but i have reviewed since last seven eight years we have not reduced any quota you know and what happens is there is a myth i mean one train if it is the whole route every station or major station given certain quota so your quota has never been reduced never been reduced but the more the trains the more the quota it depends on number of trains also what's happening sir is we have not reduced any quota okay. whatsoever the, 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 the maybe your requirement has gone up yes, yes. requirement so has gone up has requirement has gone up for that for that we have already discussed on, and we have seen that we want to run which class you are in quota factor i have the no just today uh, is is we have 11 trains crossing the mokhra railway station 11 to 12 trains no it's 20 20 20 train no, that's why we 20 up 20 down 5 to 6 weekly trains okay uh, 5 to 6 weekly trains 11 to 12 daily daily trains so what's happening all the tickets combined we don't even have 2000 tickets for stations uh, for traveling to kuala lumpur abroad no 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 which train which class Acha, I'll point out one thing. We have one Dimapur, uh, one train that is going crossing Dimapur that goes to Bangalore. Weekly one train. O- on there we have eight tickets for AC, AC three tier, two tickets for AC two tier. Okay. Easily within. Then I so I I'll note it down. Our ECCM Chief Commercial Manager. See, if I, so if I may explain, we'll, we'll we have it. large number of trains running from point X to point Y, and you need to. provide certain number of berths to each cluster so dimapur is a remote station and it, it's a remote in a technical term not far away you know, don't take it literally there are certain identified remote locations and they have pulled berths for a cluster of stations so accordingly we have our, our, around 880 odd berths for dimapur remote location similarly in other location also you would have something like 600 in some places you have 700 so these Quotas are identified for different remote locations. Like our GM said, we would be further reviewing that. It's not only about you know having yeah, more quota by the same train. You need to run more trains. trains. When you, you run more trains, you have you more opportunities it. for the passengers. And we are already program. planning to provide more trains. So can you uh, give us a clear uh, picture about how the uh, the system, the ticket system, is being distributed uh, among the states? I mean, is it like there, is it there is a certain procedure to it, or is it is it just according to uh, daily the commuters will give the tickets to see uh, uh, we 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 as you are aware in northeast region north frontier railway caters to a large number of states it's a very unique kind of situation and number of trains are being run basically taking care of the aspirations and requirements of people traveling here we generally try and see that the berths available over our system it's not only confined to only nf railway you know there are number of stations beyond this area yeah, yeah. you know a train coming from dibrugarh going right up to ernakulam you have large number of stations and states you need to cater to so accordingly the distribution is done you have to take care of different clusters even over north frontier you have six seven clusters where you have you need to distribute berths so basically you do not have any steadfast rule but we generally try to take care of the popular requirement and the aspiration of the people so that is how it's done the thing is that the number of berths in a train limited if i increase here i'll have to decrease somewhere there is very clear thing correct so what is important to understand is that we are not looking at only state boundary we are looking at cluster stations may be going beyond the general or state boundary so basically it's a distribution taking care of everyone and the solution of course lies in running more number of trains which which is what we will be doing once the uh, train dub, you know track doubling and all these things take place and so then it's going to take care of more those more trains things. more tracks already doubling is sanctioned i would earnestly request your kind authority to kindly enhance the number of tickets at least in, in terms of 500 because there is a lot of What what's happening now is today just recently now I bought a ticket to Guwahati from Mariyadi Junction because the ticket of the Mahur. Let let me see if, let me see if some cushion is there. Uh, I cannot promise, but let me see. If whatever cushion is there, we'll provide by cutting down somewhere. Else. Is there any plans for the railway authority to uh, revise the stoppage timing in the Mahur station, considering that a lot of passengers are getting on and off from the station, but the main stoppage timings are 
let's say Deepu or something, right? But over here, like Rajdhani Express or something like that, they stop for what five minutes? Hardly. When the passengers are in thousands. See, I'm not aware. There are difficulties. Stoppages. There is an issue. Boarding and deboarding. Rajdhani ka stop. Duration. Yes, the duration. It's dedicated. Seven minutes. Rajdhani is seven minutes. Eight won't start until seven twenty years. But considering there are thousands of passengers, do you think seven minutes is adequate? It needs that duration beyond that period. It doesn't help anyone. No, no, Rajdhani is 7 minutes actually. If it is 7 minutes here, it is too much. It is too much actually. You know, many major stations, it is 3 minutes only. No, having the last stop and the first departure. Ma'am, I would like you to appreciate one thing. That longer the stoppage period is, and if you have this kind of stoppage all over the place, ultimately it's going to delay the train. Ultimately, it's going to result in reduced, uh, very, very high, long running time. Secondly, depending on number of staff, uh, number of passengers getting down and boarding train, we decide the stoppage period. I, I understand in Rajdhani, seven minutes stoppage is very high. But in any case, since you are saying that can only do this. No, I'm not saying to extend timing all over the place. I'm saying especially because there are lots of passengers here. Yeah, I got it. Not, seven. Uh, but I'm, uh, I understand frankly body, telling you, seven, seven minutes uh, is enough. Seven minutes. I don't think seven minutes can be further and Rajdhani Express. Right? You can't uh, hold it for ten minutes or twelve minutes. Here. Kapinjal. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.